All right, guys, welcome back to more Planet Zoo. We are back in the West Coast Preserve, I believe they're calling it. And uh, we just added a little few more things. So, oh, let me go in here. I gotta edit Creed's work zone real quick. So, uh, no, that's not how I do that. Uh, and it works on. We're going to add the Diamondbacks. So. Got. That'll do it. No. It's all falling apart. Oh no. I'll stay on the front. Yeah, okay. Alright, so yeah. Uh, not too much has changed. I believe our female caribou is, uh, expecting, but it doesn't show that. I got the notification that she was, but then it didn't show up, so I'm not, not too sure. Because if we go to her, uh, what is it, under genetics, lifetime stats, it doesn't say she's been, she's conceived, so I'm not sure. Uh, but they have been doing alright, uh, the fans have been loving it. I've figured out how to put down the donation boxes finally, thank god. I'm a derp. It's fine, but now we have these lovely boys. Uh, try to keep with the theme we're going for Terrapins. Uh, the only minor annoyance is that they're isn't really an animal that exists in taiga that's an exhibit animal <coughs> but terrapins live in an area where it, it it's gonna get cold every now and then so uh it's fine we're gonna go with it the only thing that we're talking about were the butterflies and a butterfly exhibit is way too expensive for us right now so we're not gonna do that otherwise i would have monarchs and everything else in here yeah, we're kind of just waiting on our caribou to do the thing. Uh, not too much going on with that. And yeah, we're just kind of letting money flow in. We're, let's speed up a little bit. Just to recoup all the cash we've been spending. Yeah, why don't you start putting down donation boxes, man? Oh, they're about to mate. So hopefully she gets, she conceives. Their nutrition is low. Well, there goes the food now, hopefully. All right. Um, no, I don't think they conceived again. Damn it. That's unfortunate. The, <laughs> the basis of this breeding program is that uh, she conceives, so... Perhaps? Maybe we should look and see if there's a uh, more reindeer out? Let's check animal training real quick. Uh, so there are other female reindeer, but... They all kind of bad. Yeah, none of them are really great, so... Big bummer. Oh, how are the other... These guys were feet go points, so... He's actually really good. Magnar! Yeah, he's really good. He's only worth 25. That's not terrible. It would make them happier, too, because it would add a second, um... Do I think that's going to be an issue if they have two studs in there? I think it'll be fine. What does the PDA say? Uh, species data. Male bachelor group size. Okay. So it's it's not like a hard line couldn't happen, but 
Hmm. Yeah, Magnar is really good. Yeah, you know fuck it. We're gonna grab Magnar. We're gonna send him to the zoo, and he's gonna come in here. And if him and Ari fight, uh, we'll just have to speed up on making a second uh caribou uh pen for now. Look at that, they're making their money. Alright, he's going to carry the tiny crate that's going to expand magically. Boom! Alright, there's Magnar. Outsider gender ratio. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yep, that's... That's not going to be... Exceed species gender ratio and mix group unable to breed and interact. Alright. I kind of figured that was going to happen. I have no one to blame on myself for that. So what do we do in this uh, thing? This scenario. Well, all that money we just made up looks like we're going to be spending on making another reindeer. I mean, I guess I could move him back to animal trading. Or I could move Ari out the Magnar. Yeah, let's send him to animal storage for now. That didn't work out. We need to put more females in there. If anything. And there's just not any good female reindeer available right now. Yeah. I mean, she's not... She's not terrible. Erica? They're cheap enough. Alright. Alright. So, let's go to animal trading. And let's drop Erica in here. I think that'll help out things. Because Ag Agnetha doesn't seem to be doing it. And it'll increase the chances that they'll have a baby. So, what would we get? Hey, 3,000 bucks. Don't mind if I do. All right. That's cool. Alright, so we got that program set up. I think the next thing we ought to do is look for another... So... Why don't we go into the Zoopedia for this? And we're going to pause it real quick. So, we want... Europe and North America. Oh, did my internet go down? That's interesting. Hmm. No, it says it's there. Better question. Planet Zoo's servers go down. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Oh, could I not play franchise? Oh, that's annoying. All right, let me go see what's going on with this, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I don't know if it's because maybe they're doing some testing for when arid animals come uh, visible. Because as of this, I believe that's coming out in a couple weeks. That would be my only guess. I'm not sure. But Ari's got his new dough there. And we're going to we pause this again. All right, so... Oh, yeah, our Diamondback is at Offspring. Great. Cool. All right. Um. Oh, they had a couple Offspring. Wow, okay, so three females and one male. Cool. All right, glad to see they're doing good. Um. So next thing that we want to do is we're going to pause the game. Over here. And we're going to hop over to... Not Timeline. Uh, okay. So we want Europe and North America. I guess we do Asia too for the Taiga climate. Yeah, I guess we could. Then we want we want Tundra and Taiga. That's what we want. Okay. 
And conservation status. Is there any extinct of the world? No. All right. So. Okay, so we got timber wolves. Skunk would be cool. I haven't played with the skunk at all. Uh. Least concern, but yeah. Snow leopard. That might be a little out of our price range right now. The red crowned crane. Maybe. Red panda would be. Red panda would be cool to try. Red fox. Red deer. The raccoon. Pronghorns. Polar bear. These, the cool animals are going to be the hard ones to get. Japanese macaque, Himalayan brown bear. Grizzly bear. The gray seal. The giant panda. Formosan black bear. Uh, okay. Is that the sun bear? Can't remember if that's a sun. No, no, that's not sun bear. Sun bear's different. Might be. Eurasian lynx might actually be a good shout. The doll could be an interesting one. Doll sheep, eh? Cougar, eh? All right. Well, I mean, like planning out our path. I think that the big ones we want to focus on, apparently the dole is a heavily endangered one. Uh, we can maybe try to do that. Uh, but I think... If I want to do bears in this run, bears would be cool in the zoo. Be a bear sanctuary. I'm trying to think, because the bears are really the ones that are the most endangered that are going to be in taiga and uh, temperate that we got here. Um, I mean, Siberian Tiger is still up for two, but, eh. We already have the Reindeer, which are apparently fairly vulnerable, so. Timber Wolf, I'm surprised, isn't uh, considered vulnerable. Uh, least concern is uh, actually surprising. With that said, as far as what we want to do next, I feel like the Lynx is the way to go. Now, if we go to animal trading, now I go for species, and I want to find the Eurasian lynx, and I want to diselect reindeer. And maybe for the hell of it, I'll look at dole, but I have a feeling dole are going to be worth a lot of points. All right. Dole are not as expensive as I thought, but fairly expensive. So we have Bogdana here. She's not even that great. She's worth that much. That kind of sucks. Yeah, okay, there's the there's where the price for the dole starts to shoot up. But buying a female isn't gonna be that hard. Longevity eight percent. That's so bad. Yeah. You're not even full oh, you're worth twenty five hundred, dude. Oh man. That's rough. I mean, the Eurasian link, so one, we spend 125 conservation points and then... Oh, a male is $1,500? I mean, we have the money, but that is a pretty big investment. Alright, let's, let's go back to the Zoopedia real quick. Uh, maybe the lynx is not the way to go. The dull seems to be off the ways too. Maybe we need to focus more small scale. You know. The Amure Leopard. Wow, okay. I didn't even see this one. Oh, we could do bison and just keep doing herd animals for now. Guess that wouldn't be the worst. 
I kind of want to try one of these new uh, ones that I got with the nighttime ones, though. So I might actually go for... I haven't had seals yet, but I think I'm not going to like how I have to set up their exhibit. So we might, might skip that one for now. Same with the beaver. Uh, maybe, maybe we should just try a skunk. So boring, though. You have anything you go for a skunk. You know what? For some reason, I'm feeling the crane. All right, let's let's look for the red crown crane and see what that's gonna. How rough that I have no crime, <laughs> no crimes. All right. So, animal trading. And we're gonna go for. Is there like a decent? So let's click that off. Or click on in and then we want red crown crane elemental p there we go all right so we could just straight up purchase red crown cranes okay so you're the better male 900 bucks is not terrible but not great and then females so the game plan would be to keep around the better children that they might have and just try to go for the two best of these adults which would probably be Sumie here and Tygen yeah all right so let's adopt they want us to adopt you all right so cranes uh I have not done a wetlands exhibit yet so not quite sure how to set this up, but we're gonna find out. All right, so let's take a look at you. So, aquatic tundra taiga, temperate temperature requirements negative thirteen thirty one. That's pretty high. Grade one. They can only they can be cool. Grade one. That's awesome. Great. And they could also be good on their own. Well, luckily we do have the money to make it better than that if I can't stop hitting every button all right <laughs> four to 80 wow red crown cranes may live all right what well we read it for the reindeer among the largest cr of the cranes the red crown crane or grus hop is a japanese name sis or is a hoponesis is a species of wading bird native to the wetlands, rivers, and tidal flats of eastern Russia, China, Mongolia, Korea, and Japan. Many cranes migrate and spend their summer in Russia, China, and Mongolia, and the winter in Korea and China. Japan's population of red crowned cranes, however, are residents and do not migrate. The plumage of red crowned cranes is white in black tail feathers, neck, and face, as well as a robe of black feathers on the wings. They are named for their distinctive patch of bare red skin on their top of their head. Red crowned cranes stand five feet to five foot. That's actually a pretty fucking big bird. Uh, wingspan of 7.3 to 8.3 feet. They weigh between 10.6 pounds to 23 pounds. Males tend to be heavier than females, but sexes are otherwise alike. They are listed as vulnerable species in Japan. Much of their natural wetland habitat has been destroyed for human settlement and infrastructure. While many of the areas in China used by migrating populations have been converted to protect cranes. Have, oh, sorry, there was, there was a period there. Converted to farmland. To protect cranes, the con conservation groups have begun to create habitats for them and study their migration paths to better understand their choice of location. Additionally, captive breathing and reproduction pro reintroduction programs are in place to help bolster wild crane populations. Great! They don't require too much. Oh, we won't have any of their food enrichment, which is unfortunate. They are compatible with Japanese macaques. Something that we can uh, look into for sure. But as far as like their natural habitat, they need 75 meters of water. Okay. 
So they don't need big barriers, so... Honestly, I could just do like a little hedge barrier. Oh, kind of cool in the winter. It's a curved section, sorry. Then we'll do... You're going to be a... Oh, is there no window one here? Oh, maybe we're not going to do hedge then. Okay. Uh, let's do... Okay, that's not what we want. Concrete glass, one leg, one leg glass. Uh... Let's just do glass then. For these guys. That seems easy enough. I don't want it away from the. Yo, you do them like right over here then. Alright, that'll work. Finally make my decision. It'll curve along the path here, and then it'll take like a swoop right there. This is gonna be more costly, but you know we we made the money off the initial reindeer and the, the our froggy friends, so yeah, it's not too bad. All right, so. Alright, so these guys are like, so we want filters, continent, Asia, biomes, aquatic, and taiga temperate. That seems like the way to go. Maybe I should do water first. That's actually not a bad shout. Yeah, it's gonna be a longer episode. Oh well. We'll learn to live with it. Alright, so. Smooth, chisel, roughen, flatten. So let's push. Alright, so. So my. Alright, not that big. Because my thinking is that, like, this over here gonna be where we put the water yeah and then we do like a and I'm thinking like a why are you creating a fault there this kind of goes like that I don't kind of, I don't really appreciate how you decided to build this. Ooh. Okay, I did not mean to do all of that. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's, let's try this again. Alright. Um. Can you, like, just push this part down? No. No, you cannot. All right. Understood. I want a little one over here, too. Or at least I know how that works now. All right, so that. And that. I think they don't charge you for water, Jesus. All right. That should be enough water for them, I would think. It's like. Not too deep, but not too shallow. Uh, alright, and then like, uh, the rest of their terrain. We can do like short grass, I'm just gonna lower the grass size for them. Alright, 
and then presumably a lot of that will turn into mud as it interacts with the water. And we'll even like, uh, just to roughen it up, we'll just add like a little bit of soil in there around the banks just to blend that. And then as for nature, what do we want in here? I kind of like the idea of doing like something like that or yeah, the broken trees in the water. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like that, I like that. Broken Himalayan pine. Um, do some azaleas. Oh. <laughs> Did that one go like on the fucking Yeah, maybe not that one. Uh do some bamboo. Just keep it in distinct spots. Kinda give them some vegetation. Oh the kit will not sit on top of the water? Is that just from where I'm putting it? That's weird. Why won't you sit on top of the water? That what some of them will. Is it because the water's too deep for them? Um, can I do like reeds? Blackthorn bush. I can just do like the bushes like right along the water line. Coastal mangrove. Okay, that'll work. Mangrove tree will work. I think mangroves grew in. That temperature though. Hmm. Put the common salt wort, I think that'll work. That's some added vegetation. Um I don't think we need more trees, I'll be real. <laughs> Roof corals. Okay. All right, yeah, I like that. Um, all right, let's take out the temperate real quick. Alright, um, underwater hydrilla plants, huh? Okay, those are supposed to sit underwater, alright, we'll do that. That right there. Some underwater temple plants in there. Yeah, like reeds? What about just... Yeah, common reeds. Okay, there we go. Just put some reeds over here. And I feel like we need, like, a, like maybe, like, another tree. Ooh, broken Scott's fine. Ooh. I like that a lot. I think that this will work for what we need. It's not the prettiest, don't get me wrong, but it'll uh, definitely do. Alright. And then we are going to go over paths real quick, because I want to staff path. And we're going to do this, so... This entire section needs to be staff pathed. So that people do not walk down here and be like, there's too many st staff buildings here, and it makes me upset about myself. It's like, well, maybe you shouldn't have gone down there, dummy. Maybe just, uh, fucking don't. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. It's a little longer than I think it needs to be, but eh. 
All right. And then let's do the habitat stuff. So they like the bubble machine as sprinklers. So. Right? What are, they, what are they like for enrichment? I know we can't get their uh, food enrichment, which is unfortunate. But uh, so a sprinkler and a mirror mobile. All right, we could do those. Uh, so that's gonna be in our habitat. So where is sprinkler? P. R. There it is. Let's do that. We'll do one in each. Pond. All right. And then we're gonna do. Mirror, so M I R R. Right. And we'll do that like right in front there. That'll look good. Then, since we already have them, we're gonna throw these two in here right away. Um, we need, we need facilities and we need what is it oh uh, what's it our media devices and education all right so we need you come on that's good it will do that there and just a little well, I don't think we'll need that uh where's the little speaker ambient speaker yep. all right okay uh give me another like 30 minute episode but we did it we built uh Shitty house for birds. I'm a little for worried it's not big enough now. I'm looking at it, but maybe it'll be fine. No, oh, I gotta go into zoo. Uh, where's work zones? Uh, staff. Work zones. Okay, work zone. We're gonna add that one. All right, let's see how they like it. Richmond is low, but I figured that would be the case. All right, so nutrition. Oh, I am going to have to put something down for them to feed at. Social group, they want more of the same type of animal. And they need heart shelter. Okay, need heart shelter, really? All right, cool, another thousand bucks. We'll take it. Um, all right, so they are going to need heart shelter. What is that like? Alright, um... I have no idea what these guys would use for shelter. Bedding? Would they use bedding instead, or does it, does it need to be... I think maybe leaves would be good enough? See, is that is that enough for you guys? Uh, okay. uh, does it say species data? I don't even know what that would be under. Dogmas, interspecies, research, natural habitats. I think it would tell you what they would need for. I really have to build these things a fucking. Alright, well. Is what it is. Alright, so shelter. Alright, um. Maybe just a little metal shelter right here will be fine for them. Kinda has like no privacy, but. Eh. That's. Wow, they need more shelter. Okay. 
You guys are getting me real well close to the guests. That's all I can say for you and your shelter. There. Right. How are you two doing? Yeah, you're upset about the. All right. Well, that'll work for now. It's not the best exhibit, but um, and I'm a little bit worried that we'll. I mean, they might be fine. Uh. Uh, size of the exhibit wise for a decent breeding program I might just have to do my cheat thing where I go uh, and like build on a second exhibit onto it and just do a little extension just make it deeper which will be fine it won't take too long once they actually have more juveniles and stuff but this is a decent start they're immediately hiding away oh they just took a big old dookie yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, good job, Sumie. Um, set this stuff up too before I forget. Red Crown Crane. And Asian Forest. Or actually, it's Crickets. Ambient Speaker. Yeah. They should be all right in that with the snow. Yeah, all right. Um, and then as far as you guys feeding goes, your suit has no security to deal with crime. We don't have any crime. Like literally, we had no crime. What's the problem? <laughs> Mainly because I don't have any facilities to cash in on people, so I should probably set that up too. I put that in donation boxes? I don't think I did. For our new friends. Make myself sad. Alright. Uh, all... Ba -ba -ba -ba. So we want one here. We'll put one on our way out while we're here. Oh. That's amazing that they're just chilling. I don't give a fuck. Uh, it says to rain that they're not the happiest with it. I think they might want more space. Because you guys no security guard. I mean, we don't need one yet, guys. I, I promise it's fine. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, for the next one... Let me know what you guys uh, think our next exhibit animal should be. Um, honestly, looking at them. Uh, and wanting to stick with. So if we sort. So if we go to the Zoopedia. And we short. We short. We sort by Europe. In North America. And Tundra and Taiga. And exhibit animal. It's not gonna give us anything. So if we go if we go to temperate, we have a few more things. We could do it to new crested newt. Uh we could maybe save up for the butterflies. Uh I think that diamondback rattlesnake and Mexican red knee tarantula are pretty much out. The salad fire salamander is possible, so is the American Bulldog. Uh let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I'm going to do some minor cosmetic stuff at the zoo and up our money. And until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you uh, stay with me for Planet Zoo. Alright? Alright. Take it easy, everybody. I hope you're having a great day.